Hi everybody, <laughs> there's my dog here with me. Say hi, look at the camera. Look at the camera, they can only see your nose. Say hi, give me a kiss. Okay, so um, today I am gonna make this episode um, regarding uh, narcissistic abuse, narcissistic abuse um, still. But uh, this time I am going to talk about your pattern of thoughts uh, with the filter of narcissistic abuse instead of um, healthy thoughts. So, sorry this is bothering me. Um, so, from my experience, what I did experience uh, with the narcissistic you know I don't want to say abuse because uh, it's such a victimized word like you feel like a victim so I would like to find another term um, we can say narcissistic behavior much better um, so narcissistic behavior I was I dealt with that for my whole life uh, growing up in a household where uh, there were narcissistic um, individuals and it did affect you know I can't say that it didn't it did affect my childhood the way how I see the way how I, the way how I perceived myself and um, Ultimately, the way how I deal with life and the way how I saw life and interact with people and think about, you know, stuff and fear, all of this stuff. There's so much to talk about that I'm gonna um, do like step by step and whatever I come up with, I'm gonna make a video about it. Um, so, I am aware now of this, so I could um, I could understand my part pattern of thoughts, and I could I, I could um, compare the healthy <laughs> thoughts with um, what I used to think <laughs> and how I have to. Um, oh my God! I have to put my phone in. Uh, sorry. Okay. Um, what I used to think, how I used to see myself, and I, I used to believe those things. So in terms of speaking and um, real examples that maybe you guys can relate to for sure if you are watching this video, um, I used to get told uh, all the time, I remember when I used to get ready for school and I, I cared about my appearance because that it's... Uh, <laughs> my dog is calling me. Baby, we're going for a walk soon, don't worry. Um, I, I care about my appearance because that's part of self-love. And I used to think and sometimes I do still find myself in situations where I think, oh my God, I'm too vain, you know. So the first thing that I, I used to get told is, um, I, I remember that I used to spend time, uh, wake up early before I went to school, do my hair, straighten all my hair, do my makeup, and that took time. And I used to get told that I was too vain and I believed that I was too vain and... I was feeling like, whoa, I'm too vain, I'm so selfish, you know, I like guilty, guilt, guilt, it's something that is one of the f most favorite thing of narcissistic people in general, they love to see that you feel guilty and it's such a toxic thing. Thing. and and guilt in general in general I'm not talking about just narcissistic abuse I'm talking about any kind of guilt you know even if if you really made a mistake and you accidentally did something that you were not meant to do um, guilt is such a waste of emotions and it shouldn't even be in the vocabulary because this is life and um, the way that we they set up 
this society and even okay now we are getting into like i'm gonna start talking about other shit but um even like the church especially coming from italy let me tell you the church is a big thing uh, religion the church um school uh you know how you should be a good citizen um <laughs> And then the government is the first one that they spend billions of dollars on uh, war instead of taking care of of other things that are important. So are we really talking about guilt? Anyway, I'm just saying that the way that this world is set up right now in society, it's bullshit because, you know, you have to be a good one, a good person. But, you know, when it's it's it, it, when we are talking about this we can do anything so really guilt it's it's a it's not a good feeling and you should never feel guilty especially if you if you never if you didn't do the stuff that you did with wrong intention you know anyway i went on a rant to talk about other stuff but bear with me so I am too vain, um, I used to get told that like is makeup and hair all you care about when it was just part of my, you know, how who I was and they always try to, to, you know, you feel like that's how I was feeling like I am, I was pushed into be someone that, you know, I, I, I didn't know who I was because I always were, I always was told how to be and what to be and I couldn't pay attention I was paying attention so much about what they were saying that I couldn't just tune out tune them out and tune into myself and just converse com have a conversation with myself and listening to my thoughts and listening to my inner being because I am an individual person it's me um, even though in a family environment sometimes they use that against you like you are under my roof and i am paying you for, for your food so you should be the way that i want you to be but this is not love this is conditional love which has nothing to do with love and real love is unconditional love somebody that loves you for who you are and accept you for who you are and they don't want to make you into something that they want or their sick projection or whatever they they wasn't in their life they want to try to make you what they you know you know what i mean um then they try to bring you down about help um as soon as you do something they're like oh my god you are so sick you are so sick, oh my god, let me take care of you, like, <sighs> bro, this is such a sick pattern, and um, they want you to see you down, so they can even feel better about themselves, like, look at them, they are so sick, and if they didn't, if I wasn't here, uh, you know, to, to, they do that to add value to themselves, that they don't feel about themselves, they don't feel value, so they think they have to fix you, um, so you, you can be, um, good and okay. So they, you know, they feel that and that's very unhealthy. Uh, then they, they can talk about your food. I, I remember that I used to always get criticized on how unhealthy I was eating and the food I was eating when there, when, when then I would discover that they would be like super healthy in front of me and then at the back they would eat like all kind of crap and shit but they can judge you but they you know you can't judge themselves they never lie they never do bad things they never you know it's oh, bullshit um you never do what i think you should do and this is again again a pattern of you should be who I want you to be, not who you want you to be. And this is conditional love. I dealt with this for <clears throat> my whole life. But again, I'm not here just to talk about the negative stuff. I am here to connect. And as I said before in my previous video, this stuff for me was a blessing because I knew so much about unconditional sorry about conditional love and condition condition conditions 
and not able to be yourself and not able to be accepted that I unconditionally seeked my whole life acceptance and I end up accepting myself and I, I, I behave like this with people. I love to see diversity in people. I'm not scared about diversity. I'm not scared about a lot of stuff that I thought I was uh, depending on when in reality I know that I completely can be myself and I can be so happy and at the same time I can share the space and it's so amazing to share the space with people that are um, different completely different from me and I can I can grow with them like this is healthy stuff when you can grow with different people and you accept other people and nobody has to be like you because what kind of world would it be if you know it was like that so boring and um, you never did uh, you never oh you never get you never got a degree they're gonna use anything they can uh, but again don't let them bring you down because this has nothing to do with you um, you never got a degree so what like so what even today's world it was never about that degrees and kind for how I see the world uh, you are so much of more value with your experience than if you have a freaking piece of paper in your hand that you know at the end I don't know if you listen to Abraham Abraham Hicks it's one of my favorite person spirit concepts whatever um, w words don't teach words don't teach uh, it's only experience that teach and I don't have a degree and I'm glad I don't uh, I don't have you know yeah I have some piece of papers but they never had me really in my life and I am doing this work and I'm doing this um, I can connect with people like really connect not not how most of psychologists do and they you know I'm really connecting with people because I experienced those things and and this is one of the most valuable thing because you can really relate to people you can't pretend that you understand them you really get them and you can connect them you can connect with them from a real and deep perspective because you went through um, those things and you you know what you are talking about and you know what the other person is talking about uh, another thing is like you are selfish that's it's the same um, you know they always try to control you and to point the finger at you to make you feel like shit and so they can feel better about themselves uh, Another thing that they will do is try to manipulate your relationship. That was one of the most um, sick thing when um, they try to get into your stuff. Like, for example, I would have a relationship like a boyfriend or even with friends and um, they would say, oh... I need to have their phone number because, um, you know, in case something happened to you, I care so much about you that um, I need to have their contact. So in case you don't reply to your phone, um, which another thing is that they are so obsessively like they always text you, call you, they want to know where you are, blah, blah, blah. Um, in case something happened, if you don't reply, I need to call them to know where you are. And 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 uh, this is not true because um, <laughs> it's completely not true. They only want to control you. Is their way of control you and know what you are doing, um, who you're with, you know, all this kind of controlling stuff. Uh, so they will try to get always no you know and it's up to you you can speak to the people about this situation mm, some people they won't understand or you can uh, do whatever you can to keep them away from your life so don't take the people that you you know that I that 
you care about home don't introduce them to them don't introduce your boyfriend I know I tried so many times and I was always hoping for something to change when I didn't know that all of this was beneath, underneath and at the end of the day they don't care and if they, they can get in, 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 in your relationship and ruin your relationship they probably will they did with me so um, and, and don't feel bad about if, if something happened that they they can ruin your relationship remember that as um, my amazing friend Beyonce said nothing real can be threatened and this is so true if, if a relationship is supposed to be if somebody is supposed to be in your life um, they will understand and uh, you don't have to think that they ruined your relationship or whoever this person was because that's such a um, something that will make you feel uh, powerless which is something that you don't want to feel because you're never a victim you are always in control with your thoughts and you knowing yourself you are in control of everything that is going around you and I know that at the beginning it seems hard but you are always always um, if you want to know more about these stories if it's you know in a constructive way because I don't want to I don't want to talk about this stuff in a negative way like this is how they are because they yeah this is how they are and they can change but that is up to them nothing to do with you you don't have to change anybody you have to think about yourself and if you want something to change on the outside you need to change in the inside and, and then your reflection, because everything that is around you, it's a reflection of what you have inside. If you feel fear, you're going to find yourself in situations where you feel even more fear. If you feel like a victim, you're going to find yourself in situations that they make you feel even more like a victim. Uh, so I want to talk about this stuff in a constructive way. Um, where we can grow together and and my ultimate goal is to make you understand and make you from 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 their understanding part I don't want you to to be stuck there and be like oh my god my mom is a narcissist or whatever my boyfriend my dad my sister um, I'm such a victim I I I was you know, I found myself, I was born into this family. Uh, you always are born in families like this because you are a warrior inside and you have a bigger purpose, trust me. You have to look at the bigger picture. And I would be so excited if I was in your shoes because you are seeing this thing from another point of view. That's what I did. And and, and this bring brought me to this job. Like this brought me to understand that this was I, what I was meant to do. And I love to connect with people. I love what I'm doing and I feel so free and this is what I want to do. And I could only understand this through the behavior, the abuse that I was uh, put through. And that was a blessing. So I want you to feel the same because it's the truth. You know, I'm not just saying that it's the truth. Uh, then... Um, uh control your money yeah they 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 always want to control your money and they're gonna tell you no you know that you're not good enough to you know you're not good with money you're spending too much um so what like you have to do your experiences you can't have someone to 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 do stuff for you like they want to do so cut that whenever you can whenever you feel ready uh, you think you know everything? Yes, they. I always got tell that. Like you think you always know everything. You know when they, when you are passionate about something and you you, I don't know. For me, was my diet when I went vegan. I was like, oh, my whole world like changed. And then I got into nat naturopathy. Um, I cured so many diseases that I had in a natural way. And then when you are too much too much where you are too good when you feel good about yourself and they can see that they they're gonna say they're gonna tell you you think you know everything like who you think you are you know this kind of shit um oh another thing uh if you have any kind of dream mm, don't talk about it especially to the wrong 
uh, people. Uh, it, it doesn't mean that your dream is gonna get ruined because again you always have the control about everything you control everything and you can do whatever you are whatever you want from wherever you are um, with whatever you have even nothing um, but don't uh, don't talk to them about your dreams because they are gonna again try to bring you down and uh, they're gonna tell you stuff like I I got told like yeah that's your dream like my dream let's say when I was a kid and when I was young my dream was to become a ballerina um, and I remember we went to this school uh, where I would have to take dance classes in the afternoon and study at the same time and I was so happy I so wanted to do that but um, they told me like no you know they already decided for me they already knew who i was for them in their eyes and they were like no you you know you don't like to study and you would never be able to do that that's too much for you um this kind of stuff so they will try to bring you down in that kind of way but the 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 positive side is is nobody can destroy your dream even if it seems like it that you can't do it because of them it will if you learn how to listen to your voice no matter what age you are no matter what age you are um, you you can always pursue anything that you want to achieve in again from wherever you are with whatever you have from from nothing you can become whatever you want to become so that's the positive side about this so it doesn't really matter what other people say or do if they want to try to bring you down again it's only because of their insecurity and their what this is what they think actually about themselves it has nothing to do with you um, shame you I already talked about shame and and um, they remind you of your failures whenever you come up with something new something that you want to do they're gonna say um, remember that time that you failed about that you're gonna fail again and this is not gonna happen or everything is so hard or I don't know you want to find a job no you will never be able to find a job and you know all this kind of stuff so this was a video to if you feel familiar with this um, this happening to your life or you have somebody around you that um, is interacting with you in this kind of way uh, I would suggest that whatever is going against your voice inside and whatever you feel inside um, stay away from it cut it off don't speak to them about your stuff speak to them about uh, superficial stuff like the weather or whatever is going on like pretend pretend but your stuff it's your stuff and remember that nobody can ever take that away from you you can be and do whatever you like and this is true for everybody you can be at a stage in your life where you feel like you can't but that's that is just a perception it's not the truth it's not the truth because I am telling you I'm telling you I I, I was thinking about leaving, you know, planet Earth. I was thinking about leaving my body and I was really feeling down and feeling like I was complete worthless. I was, I was a loser. Uh, I had no value. And then look at me now, like, you can do whatever you want. And, um... As again, I'm gonna tell you that I have my email in the description. Um, so that's the email that you can um, wait. You can use that to contact me, and you can contact me in person. I can't wait to receive your emails and to get in contact with you because this is my passion, and connection is what I love the most and it's what makes me feel good and makes me feel happy so it's a win-win um, I love you all and I speak to you soon Ciao.